Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how to start using MDB React in less than one minute. So, without further ado, let's get started. Navigate to mdbootstrap.com, scroll down toward this section where you're going to see different technologies and choose MDB React. Click on the Get Started and now click on the Download button. This is going to download you a package. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter so you won't miss any updates um, about the newest version of MDB React. Once the download is complete, then navigate to your download folder and unzip the package. I'm going to use the 7-zip app, so extract and wait a couple of seconds. Here it is. Let's open this folder. I'm going to open this in Visual Studio Code. Mm, so uh, you can use any editor of your choice. I'm using uh, Visual Studio Code. It has built in a command line, so I'm opening the command line over here. Uh, you can again uh, use, uh, for example, command line from Windows or Terminal on Mac or whatever you want. I will be using just embedded. Navigate to product, project location and type npm install. This is gonna take uh, a while and it's gonna install all the dependencies. By the way, I'm showing you the easiest way, so by downloading the zip package. But in the next video, I'm gonna show you the more convenient way, which uh, is uh, even better than this. So uh, make sure to watch uh, our next video uh, where we're also gonna build something a little bit more complex to show you how easy it is to start using MDB5. Uh, so let's wait a couple more seconds to install all the dependencies. And here it is. Now let's run our project. So npm start. This is gonna build project and uh, run a local server. Starting development server and it's gonna open this page automatically. So here it is, this is our starting page for MDB. Uh, so now let's um, use some components. So let's get back to MDB5 docs. Um, make sure you're, you're on the React page, so you see small log over here and you can see React in the address. Now let's search for uh, some of the components. You can browse different components from the menu on the side. I'm gonna search for Carousel. So I'm gonna get the basic one. Uh, and here we have, mm, so I'm gonna copy the uh, basic example. Now let's get back to the source code, app.js, and I'm gonna just replace the entire code with the one with, with which I copied from uh, docs. And now let's check our local host page. So as you can see, it's working like a charm um, out of the box. If you want, you can obviously customize it, change images, add captions, whatever you want. You can add more slides, as simple as that. Now. I'm going to show you one more thing. Uh, so with the use of the MDB CLI, you can easily deploy the, your project to the web. So is, this is as simple as typing MDB publish, accept uh, package manager, and with all, within a couple of, couple of seconds, our project will be available. So now it's being sent over to uh, MDB Go servers. Now, MDB Go server will build your project on your behalf. So now it's uploading files and now our project is ready under this URL. So as you can see, it's like David Ada MDB React temp template. And this is unique for my user. And as you can see, the project has been just deployed and is secured with SSO. So as you can see, it took us like just a few seconds to deploy the entire React app onto to the web. There are more, there are databases, there are pipelines, and I'm going to teach you all of that in the next video, so make sure you won't miss it.